Hello, my shoddy base. Hello, my besties. Come with me on a trip to New York. There's Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Here we are driving to the airport. I'm drinking a strawberry lemonade because I can't have any caffeine before a flight because I take medication. So mind your business. Olivia put out guts right before my flight. She just knew. Here we are waiting for our luggages to be able to board. Um, we broke one of those little machines by accident. So sorry, American. We were very excited because our flight is only one hour. Little did we know that everything was going to go wrong. We were supposed to land in New York, right? So there I am just filming the view, having some snacks, a healthy diet, but we ended up landing in Pittsburgh because for some reason there was a storm in New York thank you Zeus and they couldn't land us there so we ran out of fuel and they landed us in Pittsburgh we did find a bookstore everything ended up amazingly there I am hugging haunting Adeline we ended up being at this airport for literally six hours and we were only able to board another plane to New York at midnight but look what a cool transition that is wow amazing stuff Larry you're incredible welcome to New York hello New York <laughs> Yesterday's travels were, they, they were something all right, but it's fine. We've slept, we've eaten 99 cent pizza, we're thriving. All we did was wake up and get ready. And now we're gonna go about the town. You know what I mean? Wanna see the view? Look at the view. How nice. Hi Times Square, howdy. And Lauren has informed me that the Empire State Building is somewhere over there. That's where Chuck waited for Blair, but she never showed up because Dorota was having her baby. And when she showed up, it was too late. And then Jenny got exiled from the Upper East Side. What a time that was. Follow me, everyone. Follow me, friends. Oh, it's so dark, like my future. Our first stop, my home base, where I'm from, where I was born and raised. <laughs> no, <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> Look at the beauty and the grace of my Aaron Black for today. The lady literally made it so good. She was a queen. I love her more than I love everyone else in the entire world. Look at Lauren. She's just... <laughs> pledge my fealty. <laughs> you pledge allegiance to the Larry. How's your coffee coffee? Delicioso. Oh good. Let me try mine. Oh, I love that woman. We found the subway and we got a metro car. It actually was not that hard. How funny would it be if I just jumped? <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be funny at all. We went to the Chelsea Market, y'all. If you ever go to New York, please go here. It is so fucking cute. And of course, I saw this thing that said books and I immediately had to go in. This is a book for all of us. Let's buy it. I'm sorry, giant. And here I am appreciating all of the books. Six of Crows, one of my faves. Sophie Lark? That is not Sophie Lark. That is Holly Black. Sophie has Brutal Prince. Oh, Brutal Prince. It was Cruel Prince. I was close. My babies. Hey, look, Lauren, I found you a book. We're on different, different, different wavelengths. Lauren used to sleep with Twilight next to her in bed. It was, it was really funny. And I would always go into her room and she would just have Twilight there. I did read this one. You did? You read that. I'm so yeah. proud of you. Oh my God, Lauren, there's so many options. Yeah, oh my God. I'm so overwhelmed. You know what I spy? Delilah Green doesn't care. I love that book. Oh, and I love Icebreaker. Oh my God. You know a book I hate with every fiber of my being? This one. I'm so sorry. No, oh, there's so many options. I feel overwhelmed. Wow. I want to read this one. This puzzle. <laughs> I found us as a book. Oh my god, it is us because it's plural. Yeah, the crawdads, I wish they would not sing. I want to read this so bad. Look how hot I am because of all these books. They're making me flustered. There's just so the many worst options. thing I've ever heard you say. And I've said a lot of bad things. Yo, this is giant. Which one's me? Harry Soto. Love hypothesis. Hi. I really want to read that. Is it good? I don't know. You guys, I was really connecting with these two girlies, the sweetest girlies ever at the bookstore. And we were having a convo over how much men suck. And then Lauren outs me and tells them about Giant. The audacity, I really was connecting with these women. And Lauren threw that connection out the window, out the wazoo. Proof I am the world's worst vlogger. I got this cupcake and I was gonna show you, but I ate it. So here's its crumbs. I'm sorry, I'll do better, I promise. Lauren just got herself some lunch and I have a nice cup of water. Hello. <laughs> How Lauren and I stumbled upon a dessert place is beyond me, but I'm having this. I got baklava. A baklava? Baklava. I love baklavas. <laughs> we went to go see Chicago. Obviously, I couldn't record anything because you're not allowed to record on Broadway. That was so fun. And then we had dinner. Now I'm here. Let me tell you how this is. Probably delicious. Hold on. I will double check. Mm. Lauren. Lauren. This is amazing. Levis. I would die for this. It's a bit dramatic. I would not die for this. I would die for mine. 
It sucks that you wouldn't die for yours. I'm done. Don't wanna second guess it. We're on our way to bookstores, y'all. We're gonna have a bookstore day. Okay, okay, she's leaving. She's leaving. Uh, oh, sorry. Back. We're going to bookstores today. Just what I want to do. Also, the reason why I woke Lauren up the way I did today with the Jonas Brothers on blast, let me explain. It's because Lauren. She's gonna have to spit a narrative that is not true. It's true. It's That's so true. Lie. Don't you try. Don't you. Don't you lie. try to Kanye West me. Listen. Last night, one eight, one thirty in the morning. Okay, I'm asleep. I'm asleep. All of a sudden, Lauren's like. Hey, can I turn on rain sounds for me to be able to fall asleep? I'm like, oh my god, Lauren, like, of course you can. I love rain sounds. This bitch literally Rick rolls me. 26th floor, going down. Sorry, as I was saying, she Rick rolls me, but with a Frank Sinatra song. What's that song? Start spreading the news. Yeah, yeah, and then she continued to talk for like an hour, and I couldn't sleep. That's why I woke you up like that. Changed my hair because I had a migraine, so I had to take my headband off. And now I just have this bun. So if you see me out there looking a fool, that's why. Anyway, we're in the Uber. Hello, everyone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> She's like, I am not paying attention to you. <laughs> just, and there's Lorene. Hi, Lorene. Lorene, you want to? No? Okay, just a wave. That's nice. <laughs> Y'all, please look. We're here at the romance bookstore. Wait, here's me with the romance bookstore. Look at the totes. So, and they have shirts. We should all get matching shirts. Oh yeah. They have a whole Emily Henry thing. My favorite. So we need to find your books. If they don't have your books, I'm <laughs> They have an erotic section. You're walking around and then you're just- Wow. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> She's a star. What a coincidence that you're a romance author and we're in a romance store. That's so crazy. That's so weird. There are no books that I wrote here. Uh, oh, you wrote a book? Oh, uh, yeah. You didn't know? Look how cute this is, y'all. The ripped bodice. Ah. This is for me. I will be taking this home. This looks adorable. Mortal, whatever that is. Follies? How do you say that? Follies? <gasps> My people. Oh, how cute. The clouds. Oh, adorable. She came all the way here to come give us hugs and say hi. <laughs> I love her. I love you too. Look at MZ, y'all. She has a whole, a whole shelf as she deserves. Hey, look, Lauren, this is you. You at a bookstore. What? Lauren is the fraud squad. I don't read it. <laughs> exactly. I can't read it. And look at this angel. She looks so beautiful just looking at books, just browsing. Browsing my own book. Browsing her own book that she wrote. She, no, wait, you didn't write it? I didn't write it. <laughs> that she did the art. She did this. She did that. <laughs> I've done nothing in my life. I'm with all these talented people. Same. And I just can't relate. It's okay, I'm with Lauren at least. Pretty sure this is all Akatar stuff. You guys tell me because I, I don't know. So have you have you read Akatar? Have you read Akatar? Yeah, of course. Is this is this it? Come here. Is this stuff from from them? It is, right? Oh yes, yeah, Ooh. yeah. That's and this the too, girl. Or this? Yeah. So these are like these are like the side dudes that become mains in later books. Okay. This is the main girl in the first one. Got it. I'm sweating from the amount of books we bought, and now we're going to the huge Barnes and Noble. Oh, y'all. Plain Taylor in this Uber, you guys. They know I'm here. It's me. You. Hi. We are at the four-story Barnes and Noble. I'm so excited. Look at this Barnes and Noble, y'all. No, it's four stories. I'm gonna throw up everywhere. Look at this Lucy score section. <gasps> oh my God, this one's my favorite, but I love this one and I hate this one. Even though we just came from a romance-only bookstore, I'm looking, I'm looking at more romance. I really want, I really want this. I saw this at the airport and it looks really cool. Oh my gosh, maybe I'll buy this and maybe this. Oh my God, there's just, there's just so many options. What do I do? I'm going to buy these y'all because me and Sophie are gonna buddy read it. Well, we're gonna try. Let's see if we succeed. Stay tuned. Did I ever tell you my escalator story? So I was at the airport. I was at the airport, everyone. And I literally um, dropped my suitcase all the way down the escalator in the Chicago airport. <laughs> And I couldn't do anything but sit there and laugh. And, just watch and there were people like, 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 like stumbling, people were like moving out of the way of my suitcase. And I'm just sitting on the floor laughing. I had no abilities to do anything else because I just could not stop laughing. Look at this. She brought me my favorites. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look, like my two personalities. Yeah. Like in one. Oh. Yeah. I'm just so excited. This I, is I had to because I read them because of you. Oh, this is my big moment. I love you like Lola's Lily. <laughs> 
Now you have to pick a book so I can buy it for you. And then I'm gonna buy you this one. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is this is amazing. This is everything. Tell them your names and, and a little bit about yourselves. Ready? Go ahead. Hello, I'm Joyelle. I uh, live in New York City and I ran into Larry and my life is made. So. <laughs> Hi, my name is Joanna Sosa. Um, yeah, I live here. It's in the, the way city. she said her last name. And um, <laughs> I love to read romance and Larry. Yeah. It's like, this is so great. Like, yeah, yeah literally tell me more. Okay. How do you spell Rachel? R A C H E L. <laughs> it's the way you were ready, though. You were like, I was ready. <laughs> okay, bam. Thank you. I love you, of course. <laughs> Book haul. Hello, howdy. First and foremost, we got Lauren this shirt. It says Rip Bodice on it, and it is black. I got this one. It says Rip Bodice on it. But it's pink. <laughs> then, the seven year slip. I literally don't know what this is about. I just know that I wanted it. It says, same place, different time. Sometimes the worst day of your life happens and you have to figure out how to live after it. Oh my God, that actually sounds so depressing. She moves into her late aunt's apartment and finds a strange man in the kitchen. A man with eyes. Well, I would hope so. Oh, kind eyes. Wait, this gets weird. It says, except he exists in the past. Seven years in the past to be exact. And she is quite literally seven years in the future. Oh my God, if this doesn't have a happy ending, I will sob. I will be so upset I bought this. Oh no, we'll figure it out. It's fine, let's not worry about it now. You know what I mean? I've been working through this with my therapist. We worry about it when the time comes. Then I got the fiance farce, or is it farce? <laughs> How do you say this word? Fiance farce? It's a farce, okay. I don't like that word. Anyway, it says, um, I don't care. I just, I just see that it's FF and I love the cover and it looks a little historical. I'm vibing. I don't really know what it's about and I don't care to know what it's about. I'll find out when I read it. Oh my God, it's signed. How cute. To anyone who has ever felt like a black sheep, this one's for you. Okay. <laughs> then I got Luca Vitalio because I am reading this Cora Riley series and this is the only one I didn't own. Like quite literally the only one and it's the one they had. So it was a sign, you know, I needed to get it. I was the boy who killed his first man at 11. Okay. Then I got Weak Side by SJ Silvis. Looks like a hockey romance. That is all I need to know. He's the hottest hockey player in the nation. And I just agreed to be his fake girlfriend. You guys know the deal. Fake dating, hockey romance. It's been done before. However, I love it. So I will read it again. Her name is Claire and his name is... Your usage don't name. Theo. Very nice. Exciting stuff. Then I got Rafe. I have been wanting to read this book for so long. This is like a male nanny. He's her manny. <laughs> That's all I know about it. Oh my God, you tilted again. Oh no. Oh, this is not going well. Anyway, Rafe. That looks amazing. That is all I got, I ripped bodice. Oh wait, no, I got a bunch of stickers. Let me show you my stickers. You wanna see? This one says, get in, loser, we're slashing the patriarchy. Antidepressants in the form of a cat. It's funny, cause I have a cat and I take antidepressants. Same thing with this one, take your meds. It'll remind me to take my meds. Having a crisis, come back later. Lauren thought this one was funny. I hope Taylor Swift's having a good day because I really do always hope Taylor's having a good day. The most iconic one. If you guys recognize this one, I love you. If you remember this concert, if you know where this is from, I adore you. And then this tote, obviously. Then we went to the big Barnes and Noble. And of course, books were bought there too. So first of all, I got me and Soap this book, but I forgot to give it to her. I'll give it to her tomorrow. It's my roommate is a vampire because we're gonna buddy read it. This is a romantic comedy. Love that. Then I got Alice Feeney's new book. Good, good, bad girl. I love rock, paper, scissors. So why the hell not? And this is a signed edition. I just noticed that. That's very good for me. I love that for me. It says, for daughters of mothers of daughters. Huh? Then I got this one. I have no idea what it's about. I just know that everybody's talking about it, so I was interested. It's One Dark Window. It looks like fantasy. Could be a thriller. I cannot tell you. It says Elspeth. Her name's Elspeth. Elspeth? She needs a monster. The monster might be her. This is giving October. Yes. And then lastly, I got The Fraud Squad. I don't know what this is about either. It says a working class woman who infiltrates Singapore's high society to fulfill her dreams, risks losing everything in the process, including herself. Oh my God, how fun. The Fraud Squad. I love the cover. And then I got Lauren this cookbook. 
Is she the one that was in jail? Yep. Nice. What was she in jail for? Taxes. Oh. And she cooks with Snoop Dogg, right? Yeah. And Lauren's going to bake her cupcakes. I love that for Lauren. Here's the thing. I'm going to have to go to USPS tomorrow and mail all of this myself because I don't have space in my suitcase in neither this Lauren. Y'all, we're at this breakfast place called Blue Dog. And just look at the difference between me and Lauren, okay? So I have a black coffee with some sugar. And Lauren, on the other hand, has a Bloody Mary. <laughs> Here's how Lauren and I differ part two because she got this delicious looking breakfast, all salty and such. And I literally got chocolate chip pancakes with dos de leche on the side. Y'all, do you see that over there? It's the pub from How I Met Your Mother. You know how they always go to McLaren's? It's there, except here it's called McGee's. How dare they? Legend, wait for it. It's literally not my fault that everywhere I go, I stumble upon books, okay? Because I was walking in the street, and of course, there's this little pop-up. So I must go. So I cannot help but agree with this. Oh, I love the toads. How cute, they also have sweatshirts. <gasps> this is giving Legacy of Gods by Rena Kent. <laughs> we are at Fogo's show. Say hello. I love it. It's the only time you'll see me smile. Look how cute she looks waiting for her sausage. Wait, this is such a great such a such a great take. <laughs> Thank you for coming with me to Nueva York. I am going to go pack. Goodbye, goodbye. You were bigger than the whole sky. You were more than just a short time. So goodbye, you guys. Have such. <laughs> I'm gonna go pack. If you enjoyed this vlog, let me know. Let me know if you want to see more vlogs. I don't know if they're boring. If you actually like them, if you actually care, let me know. I won't take it to heart. I promise. I just might cry, but you won't be there, so it's okay. Love ya. Goodbye.